Now this is the plan, this is the elevation, this is the isometric view, this is what we were to obtain. Now before going into the drawing portion of the isometric projection, let us have a look on the 3D model that has been generated. After having a look on that, we can go into the drawing part. the 3D model session, let us have a look on the pentagonal prism with all a section. This is a isometric view, 3D model that has been generated. With a thickness of 10 mm as given in the question. You can see the elevation. Top of the given pentagonal prism, the exterior pentagon, the interior pentagon which is open, which has got a opening with all round thickness of 10 mm. Now let us have a look on this front elevation. You can see the D wireframe where some of the lines will be seen and some of the lines will not be seen. This is how it looks. This is the top view and all this we are going to write it in the next part to project the isometric view, isometric projection. The final view of this. Now let us try to draw the isometric projection of this hollow pentagonal prism. Yes, we will come back to the projection part. Already the pentagon with elevations, everything is ready. Now here only this is the only line I can call it as an isometric line. All these lines are in inclined, therefore we call them as a non-isometric line. To get this non-isometric line, let us first draw a rectangular block for this, completely embedding in the rectangular. This pentagon has been embedded in the rectangular block so that it becomes easy for us to draw this non-isometric line by knowing this horizontal distance and this vertical distance. So by knowing these distances, we can mark all these corners and get the pentagon. Similarly, the inner portion also will be drawn with that concept. So name this one. I have named this rectangular block as PQRS. the pentagon as A, B, C, D, E, the inner portion, all a portion with small letters A, B, C, D, E. Always we will take this corner into consideration. I am going to draw this P, S and P, Q inclined at an angle 30 degree to horizontal line P, S and P, Q are drawn this is PS, PQ, measure this distance, take it on to the isometric scale, there this is the actual length, mark the actual length on 45 degree line, then afterwards get the distance from the ISO line that is on the 30 degree line. So every time this goes, the procedure is common for all the problems. So all this distance is what I am going to mark will be ISO length. So we have marked the PS dash and PQ dash ISO length. Complete this. 
r. Now, you can mark the distance here s e here and r d on the right hand side mark this iso length. Now, similarly you to get this point either measure from this p or you measure from here. So, I measure taken the measurement from p to a, p to b and q to c all distances this distances are high so lines. So, we will mark from here the iso length like this and name it. So, now we got the a, b, c, d, e the bottom base. Now, join them in sequence you got the base. Now, erect the rectangular block to an height equal to ISO 70. Complete the rectangular block the top face, this is the bottom face. Now, you mark the top face. Erect the verticals from all this corners of a pentagon that is A, B, C, D. Now, you are going to get the points on the top face. Mark this by A, B, C, D. Now, you got the top face. The bottom face is also ready. Many of the lines will not be seen. It will be hidden. So, shown still with thin line. Now, I have to get this points, inner points on this line. So, let me mark this 10 mm, I saw 10 mm here, draw a line, a reference line, whatever the length you see here, then you measure this length from here to here, you measure this length, mark it along this line and name it. Similarly, you can do it on the other side, the same distance will be there here also, you are going to get the point D. Next, you measure this length from here to here and this one to get the point A. We will mark that here at the top. So, this point is small a, this point is small c. And you can get the offset here, measure this offset B B small capital B and small b, mark it over here in the elevation. Now, the complete top face has been marked here, all these corner points, join them in sequence, you will get the hollow portion of this pentagon. Now, you can mark the boundaries and this is very near to the observer, you can mark it with thick line and all these lines will be thick line. This lines will be the hidden lines, therefore, you can show it with dotted lines. You drop the verticals from the top to mark the thick line, then boundaries what you are seeing. Yes. Now, this is the isogamy. If you are interested, you can have the inner portion also. You can drop the verticals from all these corners of the inner pentagon and get the bottom portion. You can join all these points, name it as A, B, C, D could name it. So, you can either draw the views with the dotted line or without eliminating all this also you can show it. Now, eliminated all the inner lines, only the boundary one which what you can see has been shown here. I have eliminated all those things, erased it out. If you are interested, you do it. Otherwise, no problem. You show the dotted line and keep it like this. Either way, you can represent it. Either like this. or like this. Thank you for watching this video.
kindly do subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again